How's it going everyone? I'm Gaz, a graphic designer, and today I'm going to be walking you through my process of doing cover art commissions uh, for my clients. Today I've got a cover art for Julian Smoke, who is a underground rapper, and yeah, I'm going to get straight into this. So the first thing I do when I start cover art is I always go to Pinterest. Uh, I use Pinterest pretty much every day, and as you can see, this board right here, cover inspiration, it's basically a collection of every cover that I see on Pinterest that I really like. And this has a lot of the styles that I really like doing, a lot of the color schemes that I really like, like the black, white, and red, or black, white, and any one color, like, like this. Really like it. The black, the white, and then like a really nice neon green. Uh, it's very cool to see like these little symbols I, I really like the symbols and like the extra little parts that really create a design uh, and make it better than just a plain like few images and then text on it uh, you see a lot of cover arts now in the mainstream that are purely just normal image and then big text I usually like to be a little bit more creative I really like this one the way that this is pushed up so they pushed up the three letters in the chaos really like that with the same like as the other one the color scheme is just beautiful black white and this orangey vermilion red I, I really like that too so i'm gonna just go through my board just to get a little bit of inspiration of what i really plan on doing see a bunch of these that i really do like uh i don't want to do something too complicated the client julian smoke did say that he wanted something dark, ominous, and basically just my style. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do. So yeah, I'm going to go into Photoshop right now, because I think we might as well just start and see where we go, and then if we need some more inspiration later, we can, we can do that. So the best way that I've found for me is or well, the best way to start, I should say, for me, it seems to be to just add a bunch of boxes and sort of get a gauge of where I th want things to be. So I'm really liking this idea of having some sort of image on the side. Uh, I really do like that idea. Just make sure that it's aligned a little bit there. Here we go. And then what I'll do is I want there to be some sort of text right here. Uh, most likely the song name. The song name is Click. So we'll do that right here. And then I think down on the bottom, I want to do a, another image. But maybe we'll just go and do something like this. So we'll just keep on duplicating these, making some boxes, something until I find what I want to do. I usually just mess around, it does take me a little while, but I end up finding something I like, and then I stick with it, so that's great. So, what I'm actually thinking is, right now, do I want the text to be in here, or do I want the text to be here? Uh, so, I mean, we could just lower this down a little bit, and I'll, I will make sure that all of the spacing is correct soon this is just like a wireframe of where i want things to be what i kind of want the positions to look like and how i want the design to come around so yeah i'm liking this we have a big image in here maybe the same image just in two different positions right here and then we can do something creative with this one and we'll have some text which i'll make right now so this font is Nuhas Grotesque. You can find it on Adobe Fonts. And it's honestly one of my uh, favorite fonts. I try and use it wherever I can. I like the bold version, but I think since this is the title, we're probably gonna have to go with the black version. So the song name is Click. I like to add asterisk, asterisks, asterisks? I don't know, I can't say that. For some reason, it's just not working in my mind right now but I like to use them a lot in my designs and I'm really liking this kind of effect, uh, whether I continue to use it or not, but having something, maybe even keeping it like that 
in a way where it's not to this side it's actually to this side we'll see let's uh let's just change it around a little bit because the issue i have with this font right now and this font choice is i'm not a huge fan of these two curves being on the edge it's not something that i find very like appealing i like to have a big box on the edge basically so but we'll see how it works i'm not in love with that right now so what we'll do is just take that out for now we'll just take that out lower it back down we don't need to have everything sorted straight away we can go with things and we can just sort of see what we like how we want things to turn out so i'll write his name in here this is a collab with vitamin or vitamin uh, i think that's how he spells his name we'll have to i'll have a look and double check in the dms here in a minute but we could definitely do that we could either stretch the text which i don't like doing we'll just keep it like that and then moving it across so that it matches the width of the squares underneath like that and then what i kind of like the idea of is maybe putting it down here and we have some symbols up here i do like this font for this however this i believe needs to be changed uh, we're just gonna have to find something that looks similar or something that looks completely different uh we'll see what direction i really want to go in uh i'm liking a lot i did like right here i did like the mix of serif and sans serif uh it was not this one but i do like the idea of potentially doing a serif form underneath let's see if i can see any here do something like this just to keep it small hmm you know what i don't dislike it right now i'm disliking the placement maybe we can do it like that somewhat like a movie poster even take the asterisk out because i don't see any need for it as of right now and you know what while i have everything laid out like this i'm just gonna have a look maybe there's a font that i prefer over that last one so we're just gonna have a look through here i do have a few fonts that i do like this is one that i usually like to use it's just very like sci-fi and you know what i do like it quite a lot so we'll just make sure that that's the same size as that and then we'll just quickly make sure that's aligned and i think what we're going to have to do with this is just change change it to the same font just a smaller version or a thinner version i should say sorry and we'll just put that here and maybe we'll see what it looks like if we go across it like that we'll just put it on the top and then this can go up a few pixels and how are we liking that i'm not liking that at all i'll be honest so let's put this back to here and then let's have a look for some other fonts see that issue is with the c is that it's curved and i really dislike the curvature uh, right here it just doesn't work for me with this straight edge the only thing i can think of potentially doing is finding something like this font which i do not like the q in this font it does not like fit in my opinion it's very hard to read especially at the sizes that you're going to be looking at cover art from like i mean realistically other than the instagram posts you're not going to be seeing it any bigger than that like the spotify when you can like open it up you can see it quite big but just not that big so i'm gonna continue looking for some of these fonts this one could be a potential 
potential one. It's different. It matches this more. But then what's stopping me from maybe even duplicating it? Well, the queue is stopping me, it looks like. So we'll just uh, carry on looking for some fonts. And you know what? We're going to go over here and go to one of my favorite websites, fontesk.com. It does take a little while to load. There is a lot of fonts on here. So yeah, uh, well, I wanna have a look at this one. This one at the start instantly just popped out to me. Uh, it's very long, let's see. Free for commercial use? Hmm. Let me download this. Wait, do I already have it installed? That would be funny if it's already installed. It is. Wow, I just did not see that font apparently. Let's uh, just highlight all this and go to Humane. Hmm. So I really like these long fonts because they don't take up much room and they do have those edges that I'm talking about where it's just, it's matching this whole edge. So we could make it pretty big, honestly. Um, let's just keep it like that size and see what, what it looks like. And I also feel like we're going to go one more this way. Hmm, maybe... Maybe minus five. It gives us enough space in between each letter, and yet it still looks pretty good. Not a huge fan of the way this Q is coming down. Out of interest, I like to just test around. Because I don't hate that. The way that looks is not horrible to me. I did just stretch the text, which is something that they usually tell you not to ever do. Uh, because stretching text is not... what. It's kind of like a sin for designers. You do not stretch text. However, when it's intentional like this, it might not look bad. And I think the reason that I don't like this font right now is the Q. And it's the part that's coming down right here. So my mind is saying, if we can overlap that here, I think it gets rid of the issue for me. It gives you enough space here. And I think I will just move it up just a little bit more. Maybe like that. So it only just overlaps and we'll just see what happens because we could put an image in here and it might fix all the problems. However, what we could also do is give us enough space here to add the names. So if we take this and we lower it down just a little bit and we end up clicking in the right spot, I'll just write the name and I'm gonna go straight back to the new Hask Grotesque because like I said earlier that is one of my favorite fonts so we're just gonna line it up there because then we're gonna be filling up this space right here with something and honestly it could be exactly what we need so let's have a look if I do it like this and then we have to make it go a little bit further down here. Go up to match that. And you know what? I actually really do like that. I really like the way that feels. And it stops the issue of like this space being blank. I think what we've got to do is lower it down like that just slightly. And now we have the title and we have the names of the people who are going to be in the song basically um so where do we want to go from here i think the first thing that i'm going to do is see if i can find some images that i like to go in here 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 and here that's why i made this wireframe like diagram kind of like that because now all i have to do is once i find an image just have to clipping mask it in so it will be very easy to just work from this and then after 
After we've got the images, we can work on making sure that these spaces are all completely the same because this is definitely not the same width as this. So that made it worse. So let's see, that looks a little bit better. And then, hmm, I don't know. like I said, we'll work on that in a little bit later. So I'm gonna go back over to my browser right here. Go to Unsplash. And I usually go to Horror. Uh, there's usually a bunch of these uh, fairly cool images and the client did say that he wanted dark and ominous and I, I think horror mixes well with both of those so we'll just have a look at some of these because i don't hate that for one of these lower ones right here make it pretty big i don't want the hand in there i just want uh i just want the skull and then I'm going to go to click this little like half filled in circle and click threshold. So as you can see what happens there is you can it, like it makes it a two color image. All the lights get turned to white and all the darks get turned to black and then with this threshold level you can change how much it gets affected by. So I do like this but I actually think that what needs to happen is these need to move over to this one. Because I like the corners here, I like having that edge, and when I clipping mask this, it's taking away the edge. Which means we might not actually use that image. So let's have a look and see if we can find anything that maybe works well maybe something that looks interesting i do like this image it's very interesting because after we do this with the threshold this might actually look really interesting let's have a look at the threshold hmm. see i do like that if we invert it what happens I like that. So I'm going to keep that for right now. And we're going to just go and have a look and see if we can fill in any more images with like similar imagery. Because I do like the way that turned out. Statues are something you can often use. Uh, I actually used this in a recent cover art I did. Uh, I use, oh, I really like that. Because it's in black and white, it may look really interesting with a threshold on top of it. So what we're going to do is put it in there and then here. Change around, see if I can get a little bit more of that smile in there. Hmm, definitely can. I like that, but then we change that, flip it. Maybe even just focus it in on the face. And if we if we invert it with control I, do I like the way it looks like? I do think that that fits more with this image. The way that it just blends here, you get this empty space. I do like the way that looks. So I'm gonna keep that for now. And again, we'll go back and see if we can find anything new. So I'm thinking, I'm feeling like we can't have a subject in this one. Uh, it has to be a object or a landscape. Or, or if it's a subject, it has to be like very hard to tell that it's a subject and more focused around the surroundings. Like something like this could very well work. Like, I'm not saying that we're going to use this one. But I will see how it works when we clip it mask it in there. And... We just add that like this, take that threshold, put it back down on here, change the settings a little bit. Okay, because like I'm saying here, I don't like this image, 
But the way you have more details on the left and right, and in the middle, you kind of get this, like... I don't know, it's, it's directing you towards the name. At least I believe it is. Uh, I'm gonna find a different image, but I definitely want to go with that idea. Maybe something urban, maybe something like this. Um, something that has some architecture in it, potentially. Which might be a little bit more difficult to find in... I really like this. Hmm. Let's just see what this works. looks like. Hmm. So this is very detailed. And I think it might be a little bit too detailed. I just inverted it. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, th that's way too detailed, unfortunately. Because that does have exactly what I need. They're both left and right. Uh, this actually looks really interesting too. Again, I think it's a little bit too detailed. However... Hmm. You know what, we're gonna keep that for now. That you. So, what I like to do is I like to fill up everything. So I can see everything, and then once I have everything here, I can decide what I like, what I dislike. And right now, I don't love it, because there's no reason for it to be there. With design, things have to have a reason. These are creating an emotion. This is telling you what it is. This isn't doing anything. And I am with this, just now looking at it. I don't know how I want to do this because I don't want it to be... Okay, yeah, that works more. I'm just gonna save this. Uh, before it crashes for whatever reason and we have to start again because I don't want to have to start again I'm liking this so far so I'm gonna have a look here I'm trying to find something that's more vertical something like a phone's been taking it maybe even this I'm not I don't think this image will turn out very well with the threshold. However, I do like the fact that if I clip a mask in here, I like that it's a full body. So let's have a look. Let's take a threshold. First off, invert it. Realize that I don't like it inverted. Go over here. And I love that. That is definitely a keeper. Uh, we're keeping that in there, and I'm going to Make it a little bit bigger. Make sure it's in the middle somewhat. Maybe push it down a little bit so we get more of the top. And what we can do is do something like we saw on those Pinterests. Uh, I can't remember exactly which one it was. But basically the boxes which have the parental advisory on it. I think that could definitely work. I, I swear I saw it in one of these. But we could do something like one of these boxes. Have like the parental advisory or maybe even some, some text in there. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what we like. But I do like that and I like the positioning of it with the hands at the bottom. The hooded head here. And then this. Does mean that I want to get rid of that. Does not fit the vibe at all. It looks too sci-fi. How this is a really cool image that could potentially work. We'll have to see. Because it doesn't have to be very detailed. I mean, it, I'd want it to be, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm going to invert this and try and fix this so I can get just a little bit. So it just looks like hands grabbing. I do like the way that this grass is coming out towards the the name of one of the artists. It's kind of like directing your eye to it. So we're going to keep this right now. And the only issue I'm having with this so far is that it's not going up high enough. Because that that finishes there. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay. 
So I'm liking this. Usually my next thing to do is to start adding symbols and small details. I think that we need to maybe cut out this part here. Maybe even if we just do this to down where the E kicks off. And then we create another, another little thing here. Make a smaller box with the same width. It goes up here to about there. That works. And I believe, I'm just gonna quickly double check, but I believe the client said yellow uh, as like, he wants black and white and then yellow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, turn this to a nice yellow. Something around there, just really bright, keeping it like as an accent color. And then because of this being this color, I do believe that the text for the artist should also be that color. So we're gonna see if I can just quickly do it both at the same time, yep. And then I don't want all of this to be yellow. Uh, and unfortunately something that I like to do is to just straight up take all of these and turn them to the accent color. But if I do that with this, it's going to just straight up turn into way too much yellow. However, I am going to try it. <laughs> so, oops. All right, yeah, so I'm just gonna take all of these images and I'm gonna duplicate them and then put them all together. So, and then what we'll do is we'll just turn off, we'll turn them off by their base layers. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is gonna make sure it's selected. You're gonna click select, color range, and then we're gonna choose the black. And then when we click delete, what you'll notice is that we've just cut out all of the white parts except the title. And now we can easily just double click on it, color overlay, and then change it to yellow. So like I said, I'm not, actually I don't hate this. The yellow for all of it does kind of work because it definitely makes the click stand out. The only thing that I would say is that this needs to have some sort of white element here we're going to have black text in here and we're going to have some sort of white elements here. And the way I usually do that is I like to create some sort of symbol. So we can either do a symbol or what I'm going to try right now is maybe even some like little gradient things. I don't know how to really explain them. They're like gradient bars. Something that is like a little added thing that I like to add. Uh, I usually make two of them. And then we'll click on it and we'll add a gradient overlay. And we'll just get rid of that one. And then we're gonna go yellow on one side. We're gonna go white on the other. Yellow on white usually doesn't look very good like this. So we might have to change that up. But then I do it at 90. And then we're gonna have a look. So. Yeah, maybe just one bar, maybe I'll reverse it. And then maybe what we'll do is, see if we reverse it, it goes into this and I'm not a huge fan of that. So what if we just take it down here? So it matches the height of that. And then we'll duplicate it. We'll rasterize the layer star flip it and then move it here. So do I love it? Do I hate it? I like to go into this so I can see like the true colors of what it's going to be, uh, what, what it's going to turn out like basically. So yeah, I'm not in love with it and I'm not hating it right now. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a few other things. Because... I don't know. We could definitely... Instead of... Honestly... Instead of this, we could just make it white. Down here. And we could have like a repeating white bar up here. And then add some more text. This, but not yellow, we're going to want white. And we're going to, oh, I didn't duplicate that. So I'm just going to go back. Duplicate. Duplicate is control J if you haven't, uh, if you didn't know that. And then we're just going to go to white. So this doesn't need to be really visible. This is just an idea of what we could potentially do. Because we could even take that out, drag that underneath. Or instead of that, maybe we could do some side text. That goes right in the corner here. Instead of saying Julian Smoke, we do 2022, and then we go over here to Glyphs, add the copyright symbol. I like to do this quite a lot. Uh, I just think it looks really good in this one. It just really fits the aesthetic. And then we're going to go back over here, because right here, I believe I'm going to add some... I'm going to add a parental advisory, I believe. So, let me just quickly see if I've got any in my files. Because even though I use them all the time, I don't usually keep them. And actually, we're going to go one step above that. We're going to go into Illustrator, which I already had open. And we're going to actually create our own parental advisory. So it doesn't need to look exactly like that. It just needs to have the information. And I've done this in the past, uh, but we're gonna see how this comes out this time. So what I like to do is we'll get, oh, let me just do that. We're gonna get a rectangle. Uh, I'm gonna add a stroke to it. Let's say five. And then I'm going to duplicate that by control C and then control shift V. And we're going to add basically a box right at the end. We're going to then add the parental advisory right here. And then we're going to add his name back here. The reason I just deleted that to re-put it there is just so that I made sure the... Uh, just to make sure that it was the exact same size. There's plenty of other ways of doing it, but I thought the quickest way would be to just duplicate it instead of going here and like messing around with like the font size especially here in uh, Illustrator where you basically deal with things at a larger scale in vector format you don't really care so much about the sizing of them because you can just do that like I mean it doesn't really matter it's in a vector format I really like asterisks asterisks can't even say the word saying I like them though uh, so yeah, how do I feel about this? I feel like this here needs to be pushed there. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to select it all, object, expand. And then what I'm going to do is just pop it in here. Say, select pixels. And then we're going to just see if it fits. How does it work? You know what, I like that. So uh, just do the render, just to see. Yep, I really like that. So I'm actually thinking that these both need to be turned back to white. It's just too much yellow going on right now. 
and yeah, so go back here, just move it across one. I don't know, it just seems a little bit off. And now I want to work on adding more white. Uh, there needs to be more white down here. But what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to add some of these photocopy textures I have on my other monitor. I got these from Black Market. I really recommend getting them from there. They are really, really high quality, as you can see. Like, you can see every little bit of speck of dust on it. And what I like to do is to just put it on screen over on the top. And I think this might help with the white. This little gray part here might help with making this feel not as yellow. Uh, so now, as you can see in the background, we have like the speckly texture. But you can see that since we have it on screen, it's missing the white and the yellow. Basically, it's just hitting the black. So I'm going to lock this, duplicate it. And then we're going to have a look, see if we can do anything else with it. Maybe like sometimes you can get like duplicated effects that really just look good. Um, do I want it? No. So what we're going to do actually instead of adding another copy scan is we're going to look here. I have some paper textures. And I mean, I don't usually use these very often. Uh, paper textures are kind of hit and miss. Uh, you either love them or you absolutely hate them. Certain times it works, certain times it doesn't. And we're just going to add it on top again. And I did not mean to click. We're just going to see what looks good. And you know what? I really like going through this. Because I think this looks really cool. And this uh, every design I do, I always like look through these. And when I go to exclusion... This always happens. It's inverted, but it looks really strong. So we're just going to carry on going through, see if any of these really hit. Um, I'm going to try this and put it under here. So yeah, no, I'm not really digging any of them. Linear burn could be interesting does add some more texture to these but if I was to do this then I would go to the levels right here make the blacks a little bit darker turn the whites up quite a bit so we don't have too much texture on there we just have a little bit and then I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking it doesn't it's missing something so I, I think we made this but I'm thinking it needs some more uh, like symbols. So I'm going to go over to Illustrator. I'm just going to delete this now. don't really need it. And we're going to make a circle. And we're going to try two different stars. Um, so you go to Distort and Transformation. Uh, pucker and Bloat. And as you can see, all you have to do is pucker it a circle. And you can change that circle to a star. So I'm going to expand the, experience, the appearance, not the experience. Just import it in here, and we're going to see what we can do with this. So it definitely has to be white. Like, that's for certain. It has to be white, it has to be under here. Um, we're either going to look at potentially putting it in here. Hmm. So this is the only issue that I sort of run into when I start adding these symbols, is where do I put them? Because that doesn't make any sense, so there's no point in putting it there. So what we could do instead is try the other circle. Or the, not circle, sorry. Uh, if you make a triangle, kind of make it like this. You select it, you go to object, uh, repeat radial now if you double click that original original triangle you can now move it around and do anything you want with symbols like there's plenty of different variations you can do everything looks kind of cool I do like these like ninja stars like this 
is interesting. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's not, um, it's not centered. Like, the points are like here instead of like right in the middle. So we're just going to see what we can do. And I don't actually hate the idea of that. Looks a bit weird. I know. But we're going to see what it looks like in with this. Because we need big blocks of white, basically. And this is like white with spikes. So we're just going to see what happens if we do that. Then maybe duplicate it a few times. So, yeah, not loving it. I think we could just go simple with this one. Thinking about it. I'm just going to go with that. Very simple star. But honestly, I think it could work really well. So we're just going to add it into this corner right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I control Z twice, unfortunately. So we click on the star, make it smaller, put it in this corner, control J to duplicate, and then just control J again to duplicate. I'm going to see. Okay, so they don't seem evenly spaced. I do like the idea. They also seem a little bit too big. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make them smaller. Then we're going to group them together. And we're just going to mess around with it. So I think actually having them right against the edge right that could work. Maybe in the middle of the hand. Yeah, I like the way that works. And then if we duplicate it and then we add add some more somewhere. I don't know. I feel like it has to be along the same axis if we do it up here. And yeah, I do like that. So yeah, I mean, where are we going to go from here? This is usually where I start to get a little bit stuck. Not really sure what I can add or what I want to do with it. So we're going to have a look at some more inspiration on Pinterest. Hmm. See if there's anything of interest. See if anything makes or stands out that I feel like I want to add. And I don't know if this will look good, but I do want to try one little thing. I want to add like a little crosshair. Not really like an exact crosshair, but like these short plus signs. Or these long plus signs, I should say. I really like the way they look. And if we can get it right in the middle of these, maybe even turn it so it's like an X. We could potentially put it over any of these and make it look good. Maybe not an X. Maybe a plus for this one. Hmm. Not loving it. But we're gonna try some more, uh, some other stuff too. Like if we just uh, make some little corner pieces, maybe? Nope, don't like that either. Okay. So, I mean, I do actually like the way this turned out. I think it looks good. Um, so we're just gonna say, or we're just gonna have a look one more little time at over here on my other monitor. I have found these cool little effects and I, I try and use them and I'm gonna try and make them myself. Uh, at some point but what you can do is you can invert them so that you get like this kind of glowy white and you can add it over the top and maybe this is how we're going to get the white that we wanted so make it pretty big 
and then just sort of mess around with it. And you know what? I really think that this actually just makes the whole design. Like, these two lines over here, like, feel like they're really connecting everything together. And down here, we're adding the white so it's not so much yellow. Because up here, there's a good balance between yellow and white. And the only difference, uh, the only thing that I'm going to change is I want to make it a little bit darker. Um, maybe not even darker, we're just going to change this up a little bit. Because I want to make the whites brighter, and I want to make the darks darker. So we just change it a little bit here in levels. And then we're going to go back here and make curves. Strong contrast. And then we can just sort of adjust it to how we see, see fit. So I'm really liking the way this is turning out. We've got the speckles over here from like the first copy scan texture. We have the cool images. The text is somewhat hidden here. I like that. Um, not in love with the way this is going over the parental advisory. So I think we're going to rasterize this. I'm just going to delete that. And you know what? I think that works. It makes it, it pop out a little bit more. Um, and then I think we're going to delete stuff inside of here too. So it, like that pops out as well. And then perhaps even go further and just, I don't know. I definitely don't like it there. It has to be, uh, it has to be okay here. Maybe we just do that. Because if I do that, kind of pops him out a little bit. Nah. We're just going to keep it like this. Uh, so the final things that I like to do with my cover arts is I like to grab everything. I do a control J or a control E to merge it all together. Control J to duplicate it. And then control, well, control A and then control J. So the reason I, I do this is so that it's just a square. Because if I do this, you're going to see all of this background space. So if to solve that, you can do control A and then control J, which is duplicate. So then now you have nothing outside of the area. And what I like to do, like I was saying, is I try to do this lens correction filter. Just a little bit, adds a little bit of energy to the design. Um, just changing it, like, I don't know, I've just added four. And we, I feel like that makes a huge difference on like just the stand, how much the design stands out. So yeah, I mean, I think that this is to a point where I'm going to render it out and I'm going to send it to the client and see if he has any revisions. So the way I work is I, I give away free revisions for my cover art clients. Uh, if, they do, if he doesn't like this, I can either create a whole new one for him or I can make small little changes, whatever he sees fit. Um, and I do all that for free. Just I think more so because I enjoy it. I enjoy doing cover arts. And if I have to make a new cover art with a new idea, then that's perfectly fine by me. So, I mean... If you're in the market for a cover art and you're a rapper and you're just interested to see how these things are made, make sure to DM me or email me. I'll have both of those in the description below. And if you're another designer and you have any questions about like anything you saw here today uh, or anything you would like to see from me in the future, make sure to leave it down in the comment section. Uh, I'll answer all of you. I, I have no issues with doing that. Answer any question about anything. It doesn't matter how stupid you may sound or how stupid I probably sounded while talking about all of this. But I don't know, we're just gonna have a good time. So uh, it's been nice uh, showing you guys how my process works. If you liked everything, leave a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, subscribe. Anyway, this is Gaz signing out, peace.